At last, the PlayStation VR headset is here. Now we can compare and contrast all the technical specifications against competing headsets. Except we're not going to do that, because chances are if you're watching this video, you don't care how it stacks up. You just want to know, is the PlayStation VR headset and PlayStation VR World's game worth it? And that is exactly what we're going to find out. This is everything you'll get in a $399 core headset package. Obviously, it comes with the PlayStation VR headset, which is surprisingly comfortable and cushy on both sides, with soft rubber flaps around where your face connects. It rests around your head instead of on top of it, and the weight is very well distributed. Putting it on for the first time can be a bit intimidating. There's a button on the back to extend the rear, with a crank that will securely tighten it once it's on, and a button below the VR display to easily adjust the view. Yes, it'll take a little bit of practice, but once you become accustomed to the process, it only takes a matter of seconds to firmly place it on your head and place the display over your eyes. Then you're styling and profiling. All of this connects to the breakout box, with two HDMI slots, one to connect the PlayStation 4 and another to connect to your television. On the flip side is where you connect the PlayStation VR extending cables. The inputs look slightly different, so it's fairly easy to recognize them. This gives you a lot of slack for movement with the headset. And they've even included an extra HDMI cable for the television, so you're covered. The breakout box itself requires USB and AC power with a cable that plugs directly into outlets and a power brick that plugs directly into the box. You'll also get the PlayStation VR demo disc, which includes nine different demos of new and upcoming games. Lastly, you'll get these really weird earbuds for 3D sound, with one side being super short and the other side being crazy long. Seriously, why make them like this? If you spring for the 499 bundle, you'll get these, the PlayStation Move controllers, the exact same used on the PlayStation 3, alongside two USB charging cables. Yes, the controllers are wireless, but you need to charge them. And finally, there's the updated PlayStation camera, which is absolutely required as it tracks the headset. If you don't own Move controllers or the camera, the 499 bundle is the way to go. This bundle also comes with PlayStation VR World, a collection of five unique tech demos. And yes, that's the actual position of my DualShock 4 being tracked by the camera. It's a very neat trick. First off is Ocean Descent, a VR experience rather than an interactive game. Users simply look around as they're slowly lowered deeper into the mysterious wreckage before encountering a shark. If you've used VR before, this won't blow your mind, but it's a good first step for the uninitiated. Next there's Danger Ball, an interesting table tennis game where players bounce a ball against different opponents. Your paddle's location is determined by your face's angle, and quick thrusts and shifts add a bit of spin to the ball. This really showcases the stability of the headset as it maintains a secure position over your eyes during movement. The variety of challenges and simple techniques make for a surprisingly engaging experience. Then there's my personal favorite, the London Heist, which actually utilizes the two move controllers as a pair of hands in the game. The Heist gives a glimpse into the seedy criminal underworld, and yes, you can totally ruin the cutscenes in some juvenile ways. Barreling down the highway while shooting dozens of motorcyclists is ridiculously fun. Altogether, it only takes around 20 minutes to complete, but the additional shooting gallery challenges are just as enjoyable, with the added obstacle of reloading your weapon by grabbing and placing a clip below the gun. If there's a reason to play VR Worlds, it's the London Heist. From there, the rest of the games take a noticeable dip in quality. VR Luge is exactly how it sounds. Players are propelled down a hill on a luge, avoiding traffic and obstacles along the way. Turning and movement is based on the tilt of your head, which doesn't feel great. There are hot air balloons in the sky and scenery to take in, but you can't look at anything, because if you do, you risk the luge going completely out of control. It's just not very well thought out. Last and worst is Scavenger's Odyssey, a space exploration platformer with light first-person shooting elements. It's the most traditional game in the collection, using the analog sticks and triggers to move, shoot, and interact. It's also the most nauseating game I've ever played. While the adaptability to intense VR action will vary from person to person, I've generally had positive experiences. But diagonal movement mixed with turning and headset aiming is a very bad combination. Simply put, the game's momentum feels entirely independent from your head. You might want to keep a bucket handy. So, is the PlayStation VR headset bundle worth it? Yes. 
Sony have crafted an original and successful headset design. It's comfortable, secure, and looks great. Of course, there's a general fuzziness to the visuals, and yes, it usually feels like you're viewing the world through a pair of binoculars. But the best experiences alleviate this, immersing players into virtual worlds. By allowing onlookers to share in the experience with the television's social screen, Sony have made VR a more accessible experience in a group setting. The camera and move controllers also function perfectly once set up properly. This will take a bit of practice, but once everything is correctly positioned, the low latency head tracking works beautifully. However, is PlayStation VR Worlds worth it? No. As much as I've enjoyed my time with the London Heist and Danger Ball, the rest of the demos range from forgettable to infuriating. The bad sadly outweighs the good. Still, the PlayStation VR headset is an incredible accomplishment. While only time will tell how developers take advantage of this new hardware, Sony have delivered on a modern virtual reality experience. The PlayStation VR headset currently retails for $399, with the $499 bundle including the PlayStation Move controllers, camera, and a copy of PlayStation VR Worlds. If you want to buy PlayStation VR Worlds on its own, that costs $39.99. And if you've had a chance to play it, let me know what you thought, and if you haven't, let me know if you plan on picking it up. We've got plenty of more PlayStation VR videos coming later this week, so stay tuned. My name is Colin Tanner and I want to thank you for watching.